Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Planescape Torment. All right, before we actually leave, let's uh, talk to the Modron, see if uh, they have anything to say about us defeating the evil wizard at the end. I guess this one might have the uh, might be more likely to say something. Um. Nope, doesn't look like it. Um, I want to use the portal lens to travel somewhere. Uh, let's see, where do I want to go? Um, I guess the marketplace and just uh, go ahead to sell some stuff. Alright, so some of the stuff uh, apparently someone pointed out to me that uh, there that prices do decrease um, I just figured I'd get I had some uh, spare space so I picked up the hammers so sell those um, these aren't worth anything much but I was picking them up anyway had the inventory space I would have dropped them if uh, other things popped up that was more valuable but Oh, the mirror of imaging is only worth one? Well, I guess I won't be selling that. Um, no, these did not go down in price. Maybe I sold them somewhere, someplace else. I'll check that in a, a moment. Yeah, someone was telling me that uh, that I had just missed it, and uh, and prices were decreasing the sell price, sale prices. But uh, no, uh, it doesn't doesn't look like it. Nothing's dropping in price. I'm gonna have to sell those silver rings someplace else. Yeah, so I'll, I'll sell all but one of these. Oh, no. Nope, that did go down. All right. Maybe, uh... I must have sold these uh, rods someplace else, then. All right. I don't know. Whatever. I'll just sell all these. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to use these, honestly. So let's just get rid of them. Can't sell any of those here. Can't sell my uh, scrolls here. And I can't sell those there. All right. Well, let's see. Um, that can go there. Yeah, I'm down to ten uh, needle and thread.
All right, where can I sell these though? That's a that's a question. Just we'll have to wander around a bit. Well, for now, let's go ahead and teleport back there. Yeah, see, why use those uh, portal lens items when I can just teleport in and out of here? Alright, lower ward. That should do. Should be able to sell some stuff in here. What about to you? Okay, get rid of those. What else? Nope, can't sell those here. I'm gone. What about to you? Out of, out of my way, market worker. Nope. You don't have anything that I care about, do you? Not really. you were all the way down there. Get over there. Alright. Do you have any scrolls that I want? Uh, Cloak of Warding is third. Nah. Nope, nope. Shroud of Shadows is fourth. Nah. Nah, you don't really have anything that I'm all that interested in. Alright, will you? No, you won't buy those. Alright, what about... What's her name? Uh, since I can buy a... Modron lens from her. Maybe I can sell them to her as well. Can't remember what her name is. I love the people confused over the, uh, uh, mime. Okay, excellent. Alright, um... Alright, the lens of the bat is worthless. Let's just get rid of those for now. Uh... Time's eyepiece is worth a lot. The stealth lens is worth a crap ton, but yeah, that is good. I do want to keep that. Lens of the Horizon is worth quite a bit as well. Alright, well I think we'll just sell these. For now. I've got a good amount of uh, cash now. Um, that's pretty nice. Teeth of the Fire Drake. Uh, that, 
That might be worth buying now. It's poison, which I don't know that I've seen that happen much. Yeah, you know... <clears throat> I think that these are going to be better. Alright, let's get that. Let's get the scroll of cloud kill. Just buy that since she only has the one. Eh. Don't really care about those that much. Okay. Uh, I suppose I could go for another couple charms of in infinite recall. That's fine. All right. So at least now we know that we can sell the uh, the lenses to her. All right. With all of that out of the way, I think that it is time to go cash in that Godsman uh, receipt. That should advance our storyline. Actually, was the pawn shop down here? Let's just double check to see if the pawn shop has anything that I want, since I've got a fair bit of money now. <clears throat> nope, that was not the pawn shop. Done. Pawn shop is uh, on the next map over. I don't remember what this building was. Let's go double check. Oh, right. You probably will have some stuff to uh, sell me. Four thousand, yeah, I'll go for that. Let's see any uh, any other things that I want? What about the blood fly. Yeah, I'll just buy that. That's fine. I think I, I can get more money if I need it later. And since we, since I did now confirm that some items are uh, decreasing in uh, um, value when you sell them, not all the items, though. Interestingly enough, um, spell scrolls don't. Um, I'm curious. What happened to your body? Me? I'm the head of Vagna. <laughs> Done. Of course you are. Of course you are, Mort. Alright, I think this was the pawn shop. All right. 
what do you have that I might want? Um, yeah, I get one of those. Nothing else? What does this do again? It's just a uh, resistance to fire. I believe you already have earrings. You do as well. I don't think you can wear them. There we go. Give you a slightly better armor class there. All right. Guess that's about all that we will get there. I'm gone. Alrighty. This has been a while since uh, we first encountered this, and uh, it looks like now we can actually get inside. You see a burly, bored-looking guard. State your business, please. Uh, I have a message for Keldor from Giltspur the Auctioneer. Oh, well, that will probably get us in. Who are you? I'm a guard of the Believers in the, of the Source, sir. Belie believers of the Source? Yes, sir. Godsmen, we're called. Uh, why? We are one of the 15 recognized factions of Sigil, sir. We believe that every being was has within it the spark of divinity. Neither good nor evil necessarily, but potential to be divine. Beyond divinity, we believe there lies something greater. We believe all life has a purpose and a goal, and we are devoted to understanding what those go what these goals are. We strive towards greatness with every step of our lives. Sounds important. We believe it. We believe it is, sir. Can I help you with anything else? Uh, yes, I had some other questions. Uh, okay, now maybe do I talk to you again? Yes, okay. I have a message for Keldor from Giltspur, the auctioneer. Thank you, sir. You'll find him in the Great Godsman Hall. He opens the gate for you. Thanks. So I could have gotten in here a lot earlier. Alright, well, let's look around a bit. See if there's anything else around here that we can... Interact with? Not really. Alright, in we go. I'm gone. Lots of godsmen's and uh found workers. Hey, someone with a name. Wait, 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 wait. You have a name. You have a name. I want to talk to you. You see a short woman with slight horns on in her forehead? Shouldn't that be on her forehead? And ears that curve sharply back on her skull. She smells faintly of sulfur, even over the reek of the foundry's fires. Greetings, what can I do for you? I'm looking for the way out. I'm looking for the pickup office. I have an item waiting for you. I'd like a tour. Uh, who are you? I'm Melissa Tield, supervisor for this area. This area being the main foundry area of the Great Foundry, where much of our current public work takes place. The foundry is larger than this, of course. But we have a large contract we're working on, and we've been sworn to secrecy, so most of the work area is off-limits. My apologies. Off-limits? Ridiculous. Farewell. I understand. I had some other questions. More questions? What are they? Uh, what's going on here? We've taken a huge and very, very secret contract, one that is taking up practically all of our resources. We maintain a smaller operation for the day-to-day -day items for our other orders, but right now the Foundry is devoted to fulfilling our contract. Don't bother asking about it, because I won't tell you. You seem very firm about this. Very well, I had some other questions. What exactly do the Godsmen stand for? This is both a communal and, and individual faction, and there are variations on the theme depending on whom one speaks with. But the basic gist of it is that life, nay, all existence itself, is a test of sorts. All things that arise test us, and how we react determines how we move closer to the true understanding of everything. We seek the truth behind the multiverse, and it's apparent to us that ours is the right way. How do I join? 
Go speak to Keldor of Durian in the meeting hall through the door on the right wall. Thanks, I had some other questions. Where can I get those items to work the forge? If you can't find them laying around somewhere, then you'll have to buy them from the clerk. For a nominal price, of course. And I think that's what I needed to get the uh, the sliver off of the uh, um, the statue in the art shop. But I'm I, I looked up what you got from it, and it's it's a breakable weapon, not very good. So I don't really care. Um. I need to pick up, pick something, uh, pick up something from the clerk. Where is he? You see that room down there with the desk in it? He sits behind that desk. You should be able to get your item there. Thanks. Bye. All right, bunch of foundry workers. A couple closed doors. Any other uh, named people? Not seeing any. All right, well, let's quick save. Let's see if. Uh, Okay, we can go in here. I'm gone. Godsman Hall. Someone named Sarosa. Of the liver. You see a young woman. As you approach her, her eyes stare directly into yours. You get the uncomfortable feeling that she's not just examining your eye color. Her gaze seems to penetrate far deeper than that. Greetings, stranger. How goes your day? Well enough, I would like you to answer some questions for me. What answers do you seek, Halfman? Uh, why do you call me Halfman? Updated my journal. I call you Halfman because I cannot see your spirit. All other mortals who pass through my life show their spirit to me as a shining spark or a smoldering ember. You show nothing at all. I call you Halfman because I cannot see your spirit as I see those of others. Whether this is because you have no soul or because you have transcended, I cannot say. One way or another, you are but half a man. What, a, what the other half is, I cannot say. I see. Then answer some other questions for me. Uh, who are you? I am Sarosa, daughter of Sandoz, one of the factors of the godsmen. Uh, can you answer some questions for me? Tell me of your family. My brother Saros is, the, is a child of the Foundry, yet I fear he has never embraced the philosophy of the, of the believers of the Source. My father is a factor here, and his travels have led him far from the Foundry and into realms most mortals never even dream of achieving. Tell me more of your brother. Saros is a brass, brash, impulsive lad, easily given over to his manhood. He is eager to prove himself equal of anything on the plains, full of the aggression of youth. I believe he feels himself more sensate than godsman, further vindicating my belief that the sensates are m the most immature of all the factions of Sigil. Why are they the most immature? Why are they the most immature? Because, like children, they do not understand that there is more beyond the world of the senses, beyond what, they, what one can see, hear, taste, touch, and smell. Look around you. You are in the outer plains. This is belief made solid. But that does not mean this seemingly rough matter can be comprehended by the senses. This is belief. No mere phys physicality can match it. I see. Speak of other matters to me. Um, yeah, nothing else right now. What's up here? Uh, Godsman Hall? Is this, uh... Ah, okay, yeah, this is, a uh, uh, an upper level. But I, Lynn? You see a severe woman with flaming red hair pulled back tight, giving her face a stretched, nervous look. She appears to be deep in thought. At your approach, she glances up and says, Can I help you with something? Uh, yes, I had some questions. What do you want? Tell me about the Great Foundry. She stifles a yawn. You can ask almost anyone else here about the Foundry, and you'll get the same answer. What makes you think I'll give you one that's any different? Ask another question. Tell me the project you're working on. Tell you about the project we're sworn our lives to complete and defend? Hmm, no. I don't think so. Not yet, anyway. Let's just say it's powerful, and it'll be worth the effort we've put into it. Alright, answer some other questions. Uh, tell me of some of the other people here. The other people here? Well, you've got the brilliant but eccentric Nils Xander. Are you related to him? Lynn and Nil are anagrams. Maybe it's uh, just a uh, coincidence. The Githzerai outcast woman Calera, Thildon the Grey, whose heart is much less ambiguous than his name, 
Keldor the Factor, Sandoz the Factor, the two children of Sandoz, Supervisor Smiths, and a host of others. They all pass me by at one point or another, and frankly I haven't made that much of an effort to get to know them. They work for me or they don't, and that's about as much as I care, I'm afraid. I'm rather devoted to my work. All right, I had some other questions. Who are you? My name is Bedai Lin. I'm a magical engineer. Not a mage, mind you, but a theoreti theoretician. And I'm going to make sure the godsmen don't get a chance to use that weapon or, or contract for other such weapons of war again. All right, I see. Farewell. I don't think there's much else to talk to her about right now. What do we have in this room? I see stuff. Done. Potential stuff. Okay. Uh, potential stuff has has failed to uh, yield to its potentiality. I'm gone. Go oh, no! Go 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 in. There it is. I'm gone. All right, potential stuff. Totally lacking in potential. Or its potential has been unfulfilled. Once again, right. shall disappointment rule the day? It appears so. Disappointment has indeed ruled the day. All right. So disappointing. Nothing else there? All right, let's go in here. There's Keldor and there's Saros. Um, but it is actually about time to end the episode. Uh... Let's see what we have back here first. Well, there's Nil Sander. Nil Xander, whatever. What do we have up here? Godsman Quarters. The door is locked. Alright. Then how about we pick the lock? Hey. Mechanism that operates this this does not have a conventional lock and may be warded against simple spells. I'll poop. All right. Well, uh, we've got a couple more people to talk to, but it is almost the end of the episode, and I'd rather it not run long at this point. So, uh, when we come back, uh, we will go ahead and talk to Keldor and uh, Nil Xander. See you next time, everyone.